So last year for Christmas, we bought the family a uh, set of tickets to the adventure park here locally in our area. But, you know, getting everybody's schedules together proved harder than expected. And so it took us until this weekend to finally get everybody together. The course has multiple choices to go through. It's just a giant park of all these places. And they're all ranked. You have purple, which is mainly for the little kids. You have yellow, which is for older kids and easier adults. It, they say it's about 10 foot off the ground. Green's about 20 foot off the ground for more agile adults. Blue's even more hard, of course. And then they have a black diamond and double diamond, which uh, is suicide for anybody my age. But So we decided to, uh, at first we thought we'd start with the yellow, but we chose not to once we got there, and we jumped right to the green. Now, for the most part, I had something to prove because back in 2013 we went to something similar to this it was a retreat and we had to uh one of the events was to climb this tree and ring a bell way up the tree and i got to a certain part of the tree and froze up and i think i've never lived that down so i thought i have to do something high up to prove that i'm not as bad as i failed that time so in this case we went to the we jumped right into the green and this is some of there's not a whole lot of commentary here but this is basically what we found all right so these people got me up here this adventure park we're kind of high look the girls are way over there they're way higher than us they're stupid people i'm over here on this platform my wife is behind me. She's trying to get unconnected. This place is crazy. We got to walk across this, and I understand there's a bunch of zip lines, so we'll see. These are pain. I got these little obstacles you got to knock out of the way as you walk across this bridge. At least the bridge is pretty taut. Next, we've got a single wire. We gotta walk across these little poles. I was under the impression most of this was zip line, but I'm not seeing a zip line yet. We'll see. She always makes it look so much easier. Thought I was gonna die going across this thing. There's bridges, the ropes between them are too far for your arms to reach. You got that middle rope that's holding you on, but it's so loose you can't really support it. Oh, but I made it. Now she's coming. Jamie and Cassidy. So at this point, we found the kids on a different course. We had finished that other course. Line. I did survive. And we found the kids on this course, which tended to be... This actually was the green course with all the zip lines. And we went right on this one next. This is the very first place. You walk up this ladder and get to the zip line. And the kids all went across. This one was definitely less intense. I don't know where she went. <laughs> The first one we went on was very much more agility, more it. body strength, more uh, balance. Well, wait a minute. Gotta make sure there's not th no more. Than this two. one was much more exhilarating, mainly just zip lines. But I am no, glad that we did the oh, other one first one because after doing this one, it kind of wears on you having to climb and do all this. But uh, I would probably have had a hard time doing the one that was a little more agile agility balance and so you know you end up being tired from either one of them so but these are the kids uh we watched them and then we decided to jump on and take this course on too but i have no video of that because it's really hard to videotape when you're up there i'm the only one that really had pockets that would hold a video i mean a camera uh so i did take some videos on the first course but you feel just kind of awkward and uneasy pulling your phone out when you're way up high on these platforms, so I didn't take any of them the second course. I can't do, I couldn't, there's <laughs> so who's up there with That's Jeremy. At this point, the, uh, most of us had done the second course, and our, my three youngest kids, uh, my youngest son and two youngest daughters, decided to do a blue course on their own. Now, honestly, at this point, I felt pretty confident that I could do another course but nobody else wanted to go with me and so we stuck around and I just did some videos but this is actually the blue course yeah, which is kind go. of uh, supposed to be really a lot tougher 
But as we're watching, I'm, I'm thinking this doesn't look too much tougher. But I think once you get up there and you worry about the upper body strength and the agility that you have to do to cross through some of these back and forth mazes, I don't know, maybe. I think I'm happy that I did two really fun, semi-tough green courses. I can do that one. Let's go follow them. I'll come up behind you. I can do that one. That looks easy. She said, don't look down. Oh, that's crazy. Now, I will say, and even my wife mentioned this, okay, so we did these, and, and they're, they have to be more than 20 feet. You're pretty high up, but never did I feel that weird freezing up panic type attack that I had back in 2013 when we did that tree. The, the height never really seemed to bother me. It, it was really odd. And maybe it's just a bad day, certain days when I had an issue. I don't know. But yeah, really, when we were done and looking back, I never at once felt like the height was a problem. I mean, you're well secured, but still, you know, you could easily fall and dangle, and then you got to find a way to get your upper body strength to get yourself back up. So there's always that fear. It doesn't look that bad. Best Christmas present ever in October, September. Are you? Best Christmas present ever, nine months later. Yeah, we always do this stuff so much later. <laughs> like the escape room. The platform you're walking on is curved. And the wire goes up higher. And it wants to teeter back and forth as you step. <laughs> you look like you're doing great. Doesn't look like it's that bad. Yeah. You're probably going to want to underhand it. Yeah. You can almost let your things go behind you and not drag them like that, but... <laughs> this was a cool part because you zip line across the creek. The water wasn't very high, but still there was water in that creek. You can see we're on the bridge. So that, that was a pretty neat scenery. Of course, at this point is when this daughter, you don't see it here, but she actually dropped her phone from her pocket right around there. And one of those guys in orange down there yeah. picked it up. It had a very small crack on the very corner of the glass, but no major damage. She had just put on one of those super duper bulletproof screen protectors literally the day before, which she attributes to protecting it. Oh, into, into like a spider web or something. <laughs> Yeah, see now this is the kind of stuff, this is, requires upper body strength. You've got to hold on to this rope, swing across, and land in this net. And then you've got to be able to secure yourself on the net and crawl across the net to the platform. I'm sorry, the cameras. It was hard to see because they made us wear stupid masks and it kept fogging my glasses up. Yeah, I showed them. It's just bendy.
This next conversation is regarding the phone that she told us she dropped a couple maneuvers previously and we went to get it, but uh, the guy had put it somewhere else. No, it was nobody was there. They got, it's probably right there where we get checked out. You said somebody has it? No, it's on the bridge. No, it's not. There's people on the bridge right now. Not that bridge. It's like way down with the best boat. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. We'll wait for you. Just look down and not over. First step's a doozy. Now it looks pretty taunt. You, you could do either or. What? Nothing, talking to her. And that was about it. Uh, we had a great time. I do wish I had videos of me doing it, though I probably look silly at times. But I have proof because I have witnesses. I think maybe next time I might take my GoPro and strap it to my chest. But anyway, later.